We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, so I'm here to talk about the whole 21 Savage situation. This situation is a mess and it's really sad what's going on. So yesterday, if you guys did not know, during the Super Bowl on Twitter, basically 21 Savage started trending. I'm telling you, we're only four days into Black History Month and the fuck shit has started. So if you guys don't know, it came out that 21 Savage is a British citizen. He came here as a child and he had a year visa and the visa ended up expiring. And for whatever reason, his parents never took him back. They didn't leave. So, you know, allegedly he's here illegally. And so he's been detained and they're trying to deport him. So this situation is really serious and it's really sad because he has a child. He's been changing his life around, changing his music. He's been doing a lot for the community. And so, you know, you had a lot of folks clowning yesterday on Twitter, you know, cracking jokes. Uh, Demi Lovato caught her ass getting involved and people drug her and then she stepped into the shade room to go back and forth with Wale. So that situation was crazy. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this news clip. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. New tonight, rapper 21 Savage has been taken into custody by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement in Atlanta. Authorities say the rapper whose real name is Shea Ben Abraham Joseph is from the U.K., although he claims to be from Atlanta. Well, federal agents say he entered the U.S. on a visa in 2005 and failed to leave when it expired. Officials say he was also convicted of felony drug charges in 2014. Authorities say he has been placed into removal proceedings before the federal immigration courts. All right, so you guys just saw the news clips concerning 21 Savage. So now the craziest part is this. As we all know, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, they have been beefing literally all through 2018. But today, in 2019, they put their differences aside to come together for a great cause, okay? They came together to drag Tommy Loren. So what happened is that basically Tommy Loren, who appeared to be a 21 Savage fan just last year, because y'all remember when I did this, video of her rapping to 21 Savage. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, y'all just seen 21 Savage's biggest fan out there rapping to his, you know, hip hop music in her car. Well, now she's trying to use that same song and those same lyrics against him, and she's trying to have jokes. So basically, she took to her Twitter, and this is what she wrote. So she wrote, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ICE agents ready to deport you. So then after that, Cardi B was like, you know what, you got life fucked up. So Cardi B says, don't make me get my leash. Because if you guys remember two weeks ago, her and Tommy Loren got into it on social media. And she basically said that she would dog walk Tommy Loren. And after Cardi B told her that, Tommy Loren had a tall glass to shut the fuck up. And she kind of fell back, okay? So then she replied back and she said, here's something maybe we can agree on. Our immigration system is broken. We need to keep our country safe while also making sure people who work hard, contribute, don't leech out the system and are able to legally immigrate here. I'm a fan of 21 Savage and I'm a fan of yours. So that was her response to Cardi B. Well, then Nicki Minaj caught wind of all this back and forth. So Nicki Minaj replied back to her and she says, Your obsession with our culture is scary to say the least. I hate giving you the attention you so desperately crave. Laughing at people getting deported as if your ancestors discovered America. 
Are you Native American, you fucking clown? So that is what Nicki Minaj said to her. And then Tommy LaVern replied back by saying, when you're in this country illegally, you get deported. I didn't write the law, neither did ICE. They enforce it. And I hope 21 Savage is able to get an entertainment visa or become a citizen one day. P.S. My ancestors did discover America. So that is what Tommy Loren had to say. So this entire situation is just really crazy. Um, a lot of celebrities have been reaching out, you know, posting messages of well wishes and concerns to 21 Savage. Um, Young Thug posted a message. Wale. P from Quality Control also posted a message. Here goes the messages here. All right, so you guys just saw what they had to say. So another thing that I found really interesting, you know, of course, there's all types of conspiracies and all that stuff going around. Well, if you guys don't know, 21 Savage and J. Cole recently did a really good song together. J. Cole dropped his latest album. The single that 21 Savage has, it's caught a lot and it's featuring J. Cole. And the song is real deep. I, I've been liking the song ever since it came out. The video is really nice, well shot, very cinematic feel. And um, so anyways... In that, there's a line where he says he couldn't imagine his kids stuck at the border. So now, you know, going back and re-listening to that verse, you know, it kind of made sense why he put it in there because maybe he was in that same situation. Y'all go ahead and check this out. That 21 Savage song called A Lot. Hell, this entire situation is a lot to damn deal with, okay? So if you guys do not know, as of an hour ago... TMZ just got word back from um, 21 Savage's lawyers. So this is what they're reporting. They're saying that ICE is trying to intimidate me to leave the country that I love. His lawyers say 21 Savage never hid the fact that he was in the U.S. illegally. And ICE is now trying to intimidate him into leaving the country he calls home, according to his lawyers. Attorney Charles H. Cuck just delivered a blistering attack on the federal agency that arrested 21 Savage Sunday and is holding him for deportation proceedings. Cuck says his client actually applied for a U.S. visa back in 2017 and the application is pending and ICE has known about it but yet took no action until this weekend. The attorney also takes aim at ICE for putting it out there that 21 Savage has prior criminal charges suggesting that he does not. Point of fact, 21 Savage pled guilty to felony drug possession back in 2014 but that conviction was expunged last September. Cuck slammed ICE for detaining his client claiming he's not a threat to the community nor is he a flight risk and he has children here. As a minor his family overstayed their work visa and he like almost two million other children have been left without legal status through no fault of their own Cuck says. His client has U.S. children whom he supports and is eligible for relief from deportation. The attorney accuses ICE of trying to unnecessarily punish him claiming the agency is trying to intimidate him into giving up his rights to fight to remain in the United States. Now, this is interesting. Cuck says that the visa that 21 Savage applied for is based on him being a victim of a crime. Cuck says that 21 Savage was shot during a 2013 incident where his best friend was murdered. Cuck says he was severely affected physically and mentally. He goes on to say being a crime victim puts 21 Savage in a position for permanent residency. An online petition started by co-founder of Black Lives Matter, Patrice Collars, was just started in an attempt to stop possible deportation of 21 Savage. All right, so that is the update right now concerning 21 Savage. You know, and a lot of people are saying that they find this really interesting interesting that you know ever since 21 Savage has turned his life around he's been doing a lot of really good things for the city of Atlanta starting you know financial funds for kids and just doing all types of things he was even on the Ellen show recently talking about this and it's funny now that he's being detained I want you guys to go ahead and watch this quick video 
and his latest campaign is going to help kids around the country. Amber Rose's boo stopped by the Ellen DeGeneres show this week to perform his hit single, Bank Account, from his debut studio album. After his performance, Savage gave the crowd another treat as he announced the launch of the 21 Savage Bank Account campaign, a program designed to help kids and teens gain financial literacy with a nonprofit organization, Get Schooled. Ellen posted to Instagram, at 21 Savage is doing something absolutely amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. The number 21 is important to Savage because in 2013, on his 21st birthday, he was shot six times and his best friend was murdered. Savage also struggled in school as he was permanently barred from every school in DeKalb County due to gun possession. One thing we can learn from 21 Savage is that it's never too late to change the trajectory of your life. All right, so you guys just saw that quick video of all the things that 21 Savage is doing for his community and has been doing for a while. He's definitely changed his image around. He's been trying to do the right thing. So like I said, this entire situation is really crazy. It's really sad and it's going to be very interesting to see how everything plays out. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How do you guys feel about 21 Savage possibly being deported? Do you feel like there's something that can be done to help him? And then also, how do you guys feel about, you know, Tommy Loren once again, you know, piping in, saying what she said and Cardi B and Nicki Minaj both checking her? And then how do you guys feel about Demi Lovato trying to crack jokes on 21 Savage and her basically getting checked by Wale and basically half a black Twitter? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you wanna know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.